So there is something that I wanted to add in here because I realized I was kind of talking in metaphors and it might not make a completely clear sense. So I'm gonna say it in another way. So the baseball diamond, like if you're working a regular nine to five, that could be considered your baseball diamond. Like why are you spending so much time on this baseball diamond when you don't even like baseball? Like get yourself onto that soccer field. Like start doing the thing that it is that you want to be doing, that you enjoy doing. Spend more time doing that even though, okay, yeah, you have an obligation to this baseball diamond right now. Like I understand that you are a baseball player at this point in time and you can't just back out of the team. But spend more time on the soccer field, you know, doing the thing that it is that you love and slowly get yourself onto that onto that soccer field like you need to be devoted to the soccer field as much as you're devoted and obligated to the baseball diamond if that makes any sense that was just my brain's way of thinking about this whole scenario so yeah hopefully that helps you guys out too Hey everyone, it's Natasha here, and today we're going to be talking about the life that you have versus the life that you want, and reducing that disconnect. So we're going to be talking about leveling up, how to get onto the right playing field in order to actually be able to accomplish your dreams and live the life that you want for yourself. And I'm saying level up, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to level up so to speak, so much as I'm trying to say that you need to get yourself into the space or the right lifestyle for the one that you desire to have. To explain that a little better, for example, let's say you are currently a multi-billionaire right now, but what you actually want and what would feel good for you within your spirit would be to live a quiet little countryside self-sustaining farm life. I know that it's very cliche, but bear with me. And so even though society might look at that as a form of leveling down, that would actually be you changing your life circumstances and putting yourself into the right space that you need to be in in order to live the life you actually want. So regardless of whether or not what you are seeking out is a level up or a level down within society's eyes, we're just going to be calling it leveling up spiritually, you know, seeking out the life that makes us as an individual genuinely happy because that is the best glow up that you can bring into your life. The point of this video, honestly, is to motivate you and get you to really understand the actions you need to be taking in order to get yourself exactly where you want to be. For a lot of us, we can envision the life that we want, but from our reality looking to that vision, it may seem very far off because there are obstacles in our way. You know, there are fears that we have that society and upbringing may instill upon us. And you actually have to get to a point of being able to allow yourself to take some leaps of faith and trust. First, I'm going to say in the powers that be, you know, the universe or God, whatever term it is that you connect with. Um, but also really trust in yourself and know that you can get yourself where you want to be. So I'm gonna do a little exercise with you guys right now. I want you to think about the people who have accomplished the thing it is that you want to accomplish, or even think about a specific person who has accomplished the thing it is you want to accomplish. Now, I want you to ask yourself, what were the spaces that this person occupied that allowed for them to accomplish those goals? What can you configure their daily routine to have looked like at the time in which they accomplished the goal you are wanting to? Now, if you really want to be able to achieve what that person has, then you need to also get yourself into those same or similar spaces and have a comparable routine to that person. So I've mentioned in previous videos how privilege can allow someone easier access to opportunities, which is entirely true. I'm not trying to push this fact aside and act like it doesn't exist because it 100% does. But for people who are able to accomplish their goals and live the life that they truly want to live, it's because these people have been able to put themselves, sometimes with greater ease and easier accessibility, into that correct playing field for their goals to actually be accomplished. So in my head, I literally envision a bunch of different sport fields. And if you are on the wrong field, then you're never going to actually get where you want to be. Maybe right now you are on a baseball diamond, but you need to be on a soccer field 
in order to actually accomplish your goal. So what is it that you need to do in order to put yourself onto the correct playing field to make the life you want be your genuine reality? Because chances are there are some changes that you need to make within your life, to your daily lifestyle, that you need to act upon before the life you want can become your true reality. Take me, for example, I knew by not having a space available for me that I could create content in regularly, then I wasn't going to be able to create the high quality content that I want for my brand. And looking into the future of my life, comparing me having a content space versus not having a content space, I knew one of those was going to progress me much closer to my goals than the other one. If you really genuinely want your life to look a certain way six months from now, then you need to be taking the necessary steps within the upcoming weeks to get yourself there. I know for myself personally, I would love for my main source of income to come from my content versus coming from being an employee. So with this goal, content can't be a secondhand thing that I get to only when I have the time. Regularly creating and putting out quality content has to be something that is a non-negotiable. It needs to be a part of my routine as if it is my main source of income already. Only then can I bridge the gap between what I want my life to be from what it actually is. As a closer, let me know in the comments what it is you aspire to accomplish and how you plan to implement this playing field strategy in order to make it happen or even just give this video a thumbs up and my channel a follow so I can come back into your life and motivate you even further. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to share it with anyone else who might need to hear this message and let me know if there are any other video topics you might be interested in in the comments down below. There's plenty more content to come, so till next time, stay after your dreams.